The first thing when installing your PSS shaft seal is to read the installation instructions thoroughly and review that you have received all of the parts with the PSS. The first step when installing your PSS shaft seal is to remove the shaft coupling from the transmission output flange and then remove the shaft coupling from the shaft. Once you've removed the shaft coupling, you'll need to slide the shaft aft far enough to enable you to remove the old packing gland and the rubber hose that was attaching the packing gland to the stern tube. Once you've slid the shaft back, you're going to want to clean the exposed portion of the shaft with some sandpaper, paying particular attention to the keyway so that it doesn't cut the O-rings when you slide the stainless steel rotor onto the shaft. At this point, you're going to slide the rubber bellow down over the shaft, making sure not to damage the carbon, and fit the bellow onto the shaft log making sure that the shaft log is not protruding up into the convolutes of the bellow. You want the shaft log to end where the convolutions begin. At this point you're going to unpack the stainless steel rotor from the pouch and inspect both faces to make sure they're free of any defects. Also make certain that you have the two nitrile o-rings recessed into the bore of the stainless steel collar. At this time, I also like to take the bottom pair of set screws and chase them into the bore of the rotor just to make sure that there are no burrs or anything that may impede those set screws from engaging the shaft when you secure them properly. After running the set screws into the bore of the rotor and ensuring that they can pierce the bore, you'll back them out again so they are recessed back up into the stainless steel rotor. At this point you're going to want to put some soapy water on the shaft and on the o-rings to help lubricate the o-rings to facilitate sliding it down the shaft. At this point we're going to reattach the shaft coupling to the end of the shaft and bolt the couplings back together again. Once the shaft coupling is back on the shaft we bolt the couplings back together again and at this point we're going to slide the stainless steel rotor down the rest of the way down the shaft until the stainless collar just touches the carbon face. You may also wish to position the bellow onto the stern tube to ensure that those faces are flat and aligned with each other. At this time you're going to tighten the hose clamps to secure the bellow to the stern tube. At this point, again, we're going to confirm that the stainless and carbon are just touching or in their neutral position. Put a magic marker spot on the shaft to show where this neutral position is, and then refer to the bellow compression chart in the installation instructions, which will tell you how much to compress or preload the bellows. In this instance, I have an inch and a quarter shaft, so we're going to add one inch of preload to the bellow. Once we've added the one inch of preload to the bellow, we're going to take and secure the set screws to the shaft. Make sure that you secure these bottom set screws tight so that you flatten the head of the cup point set screw. We're now going to double stack the set screws. The top set screws will act as the locking screws to ensure that the bottom set screws, which secure it to the shaft, don't back out. We're now going to fit the PYI clamp jackets to the tails of the hose clamps. These clamp jackets are uh, intended to keep you from possibly snagging your clothes or arm on the tail end of the hose clamps. So if you have any other hose clamps with tails that you would like to uh, fit the clamp jackets on, please give PYI a call.
The next step is to refer to the installation instructions for the proper venting or plumbing of water to the PSS shaft seal. Once the PSS